Okay, so we're verifying an identity and we have fractions on both sides. So we're going to try and work on both sides uh, to simplify so we can show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So I'm going to start with the left hand side and we have tan squared x divided by 1 plus secant x. So using Pythagorean identities, so I'm just going to write this by here. We know that tan squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. So I'm going to rewrite tan squared x. So I'll have secant squared x minus 1 divided by secant of x. Now we need to simplify. So to be able to eliminate our terms. So I'm going to rewrite. So I'm going to use write as factors. And I'm going to write secant x minus 1 multiplied by secant x plus 1. And I'm going to rewrite this over and 1 plus secant of x is the same as secant x plus 1. So now I can see that these terms are the same and they will simplify. So on my left hand side, I am left with secant x minus 1. So now I'm going to look at my right hand side. So here's my right hand side. And I'm going to just write that here, right hand side. And I have 1 minus cosine of x divided by cosine of x. So what can I do? I can rewrite these fractions. So I'm going to write them both over cosine of x as separate fractions. So when I do this, this becomes 1. And 1 over cosine of x we know is secant of x. So we have secant of x minus 1. So on the left hand side we have secant of x minus 1 and on the right hand side. So we have verified that they both are equal. Okay so we need to verify. Uh, this time we can see that we have uh, terms which are to the power of 2 or to the power of 4. Um, so we're going to factor. So we're going to see what uh, we can do. So first of all, let's have a look at the left hand side. So the left hand side. So we have a uh, secant 4x minus secant squared x. So we can factor by secant squared x. And this will leave us with secant uh, squared x minus 1. So secant squared x, if I use the Pythagorean identities, uh, secant squared x minus 1 is equal to tan squared of x. So we can replace this. So we've got secant squared x and this becomes tan squared x. So this is our left hand side. So if we look at the right hand side, we have uh, tan 4 of x plus tan squared of x. And we can factor with tan squared x. So this will be tan squared x plus 1. And we know that uh, tan squared x plus 1 is actually equal to secant squared x. So we can rewrite. So this is tan squared x multiplied by secant squared x. And we can rewrite this the other way around, which would be secant uh, squared x is equal to tan squared x. So the left hand side is equal to 
the right hand side.